This is an introduction and a quick demo of a tool I've written called Pact, which I'm using to extract clips from audio MP3 files and to make Enki cards. For example, um, if I have this podcast, I might find a sentence that I like, for example, this. La constancia es una actitud frente a un objetivo o propósito. That's a nice clip for me. It might be vocab or structure or whatever. And so what PACT does is it lets me very quickly find and extract those clips that I want and make Anki cards from them like this. La constancia es una actitud Etc. frente a un objetivo o propósito. Now I could very easily uh, make such cards using uh, tools like Audacity, etc. But Pact, for me, Pact just streamlines that whole process. Um, I'm currently in my Pact directory, and so I'm going to start it with uh, this. And so it starts off like this. So I'm going to open up an MP3. And so here I'm in Spanish. So I've got this clip here, or this MP3 file. And so I can start to play it. Hola a todos y bienvenidos al quinto episodio de etc. Uh, so this is just a regular player, so I could just zoom in along like this. So let's suppose this Estoy I Estoy hablando de la constancia. La constancia es una actitud so I might find frente a un objetivo so make a o bookmark. propósito. Un sinónimo, una palabra de sentencias favorables y consecuentes. Ok. So, then I can go back to a bookmark that I have. And so now I'm going to look at a clip. So a bookmark is against a placeholder, but with a clip, I can actually go in, once I've selected the bookmark, hit the clip window, it fires up this other window here. And what I can do is I can find the... Estoy hablando de la constancia. I'm going to set the la start. La constancia es una actitud frente a un objetivo o propósito. Okay. Un sinónimo, una... So, that might be the clip that I'm interested in, right? And so this might be the thing that I want to review. La constancia es una actitud... So I've set the start and the end. And I can play the clip just to make sure that it is, in fact, what I want. La constancia es una actitud frente a un objetivo o propósito. And so you can see here that Pact used a tool called VOSC to actually make the transcription as the clip was playing. And so, uh, so that's obviously pretty handy. And if there are some words that I don't know, I can just highlight the word and I can click on lookup. And this is going to do a lookup uh, using the free dictionary. Copy it. And then I can come back here and just paste it so that I have more information in my card if I want. Then when I click OK, uh, it'll take me back to my list of clips, and you can see that it was updated with that date. So uh, so this is great, but... La constancia es una... Uh, you'll notice, though, that um, this isn't might not be exactly accurate. Vosk does the best that it can to provide transcriptions, but sometimes they're not accurate. And so what you can do uh, with PACT is you can actually supply a transcription file that uh, Pact is going to use. So this is a transcription which the podcast author has, and then Pact is going to use that transcription to try and correct or make suggestions for the uh, the transcription. So I'm just going to delete this transcription here. And if I play it again, La constancia es una actitud first, frente a un objetivo o propósito. And then you can see that it made some very small adjustments at the end of it and the beginning of it. If my clip had been different, let's say that my clip had ended uh, earlier than that, and if I play it, La constancia es una actitud frente a uno. So this is what the Voss transcription turned up, and then this is what Pact added, because it used a transcription file to add the rest of the sentence, just providing more context around that. Then I can do an export to, to Anki, so I've already got this transcription. I've already got this clip in transcription. La constancia es una actitud. Okay. And so when I click on export, now if I go over to Anki again. La constancia es una actitud frente a un... And so this is the actual data that I had in the clip. As I work through a file uh, with Pact, I can, save a trans I can save the session as I go. So with this, if I call this, for example, um, currentwork.pact. When I save it, it's going to save this information uh, so that when I, if I close Pact and come back to it, open session, and I have currentwork.pact. And so this has the clip that I find as well as the bookmarks that I had to find as I was listening.
I'll show you briefly the uh, configuration uh, that you use for Pact. So here's the lookup module. So this is the uh, lookup that I was using uh, for that pop-up. And then this is where Vosk uses a model, which is in my Pact project. I have this model and I've got Spanish here and I also have another model for German. So I've only been using Pact for Spanish uh, because that's the language that I'm working on. Uh, but uh, it does, Vosk does support other languages for transcriptions. So I'll just uh, quickly run that example. Um, and so let's just check the uh, config of that file now. So you can see the lookup module now is referring to a German lookup, and it's using a different Vosk model. So this is for transcription into German, and I'm posting things into a different deck, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, now if I run Pact, so this is a German example, and here's a clip, and it also has a, tran uh, a, a transcription that the author provided of the podcast. So now when I open up my clip, Höre dir diesen Podcast an. Und du wirst Deutsch lernen. Viel Erfolg und vor allem... Okay, and so now I can do a lookup of this term. And here it pops this up. I can also export this to Anki, uh, just like I did with Spanish clips. So I'll go here, click on this. And when I go into Anki, I have this German clip. Now... Höre dir diesen Podcast und du... Etc. In the Voss project, there there are various models available for uh, French, English, Spanish, German, etc. I haven't tried all of the models. I've only tried Spanish and German so far. Uh, so for installation um, and config, so all of this is on the uh, wiki for the project and uh, on the setup for the project. Now, I've only actually tested Pact on a Mac. It should work on other machines, but I've only tried it on a Mac. And, and actually, I'm not a very experienced Python program programmer, so I don't know how to, how to create a real application. So you actually start and stop Pact from the command line, just like I've been doing here. All of the all of the stuff is on the uh, Pact website, so uh, sorry, on GitHub. And so it's got all the information about uh, the setup and the various tools that you need. Everything's on GitHub. Everything's uh, open source. It's free, whatever. Um, this is all kind of a proof of concept work in progress, but I've been finding it useful. So maybe you will as well. Um, if you install it and if you try to use it and if you run to problems, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to help. I have, uh, I've only got a Mac. I don't have other machines to try it out on. And there might be some certain hiccups that I'm just not aware of for other operating systems. But if you uh, give it a shot and like maybe create some issues in GitHub um, and uh, let me know uh, how things are working for you or not. That's it. Thank you very much for watching to the end. And I hope you found something useful. And perhaps even if you don't use this tool, maybe it'll give you some ideas about what you can do for your own studying of languages. It's, it's interesting, but sometimes it's very painful. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.